So now that we have our paths built, I want to go back into our layers and make a new layer and just select all and then edit fill and we're going to fill with white. We'll go back to our paths with that highlighted and we'll go make selection, click OK and then go back to our layers and we'll just delete out that selection. Now one thing I've just noticed here is I've, I don't have a drop shadow anymore under the Bronco. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a little selection here and get rid of that white. So we'll have some shadow to play with. Now what I'm going to do is let's make a duplicate and let's just make like four duplicates of the background, the Bronco image. What I want to do now is let's go to image adjustments threshold. And this will take everything to completely black and white. And if you have a really easy image, this may be all you need to do. But if you have kind of a, a low quality image like this Bronco, you may need to do it. Or if it has a lot of variation in lights and darks, you may need to make duplicate layers like I did, just so that you can take the best out of all those layers. So you'll see the tires look really good. Everything else looks pretty just blown out and, and too light. But I like how the tires are looking in this. So I'm going to click OK. And what I want to do now is let's delete out everything that doesn't really look good. So, you know, I think these taillights actually look good. This cut line looks good. This taillight looks good. Um, but a lot of this stuff doesn't. So I'm just going to kind of roughly cut out what I know we're not going to want. And then in that layer, I'll just hit delete. So now we have the layer below that showing through. And I'm just going to apply a threshold to that layer. So exactly the same thing that we just did, but we'll, we'll move the slider a little bit differently. So image adjustments threshold. And now we want to get the back of the Bronco, the tailgate to look good. So let's, uh, let's move that slider. I think right about there is starting to look pretty good. We're probably going to want to fill in some of this. It looks a little textured just from the noise. So let's tap OK. And I think, yeah, everything looks good here. I just want to take the top part off and that door handle starting to look good. We might be able to get it to look better. So let's, uh, let's just take the whole top half here off, hit delete. And also, you know, I think inside this window, this back window, we could get it to look a little better. Maybe that door handle as well. Hit delete. So then this layer below that, let's make sure we don't have anything selected. And let's do another threshold, image adjustments threshold. And let's move our slider till that starts looking really nice. And I think we're getting pretty close there. So I'm just gonna tap OK. The only other thing I can think of is, you remember in the paths I drew out these the bottom of these tires. So what we can do here is just make a new layer right under that top white layer and go in there and just paint a little black. And that'll fill in where we had drawn those paths. This is where I'm gonna leave this right here. I'm also gonna show you how to do this in Affinity and Corel in the upcoming videos. So if you're interested in Corel or Affinity, have a look out for those. Or if you wanna skip ahead, you can skip those next couple of videos.